we're doing another session. Because I like doing these. since I never really get to, you know. Um, I wanted to be able to, you know, get, just like my last live, um, and this is different music. Um, this is not the same music that I was using in my <coughs> first live that I just did, uh, not even 10 minutes ago. Um, but I wanted to jump back on here and let you guys know who God is, you know. Um, but, just like I said in my other live, if you guys don't have this, this is God's word, you know. God is, God's good, and he, he's made wonders for me. I've checked it already. Um, he, um, he's worked wonders, and he's done wonderful things, he's, done several things for me and I just want you guys to be able to feel free to message me or be able to come to me and know that I am here for you guys. I will always be here for you guys. And even though I jumped on here earlier and it probably don't make sense to some of you guys, I wanted to jump on here and tell you guys that I love you that I love y'all, and it don't matter each and every single one of you guys, I love every one of you, God loves you, I love you, let me get some more people in here, give me one second, um, you know, God has a purpose for all of us, and nobody knows what their purpose is, and I hope that, um, I hope you guys will follow with me on this. Um, I just wanted to wanted you guys to um, know that I'm here for you guys anytime, any day. Um, on here and um, talk to you guys more about about the Lord and talk to you guys and I know it's late but I want to do a late live you know and God God has moved several things out of my life he's moved people out of my life he has moved um, he's moved uh, several um, He's moved several things out of my life, you know. He's moved people out of my life. He's moved the negative things out of my life. He has moved things that I know that I shouldn't be doing out of my life. Because that's who that is above. It is. God loves you. I love you guys. It don't matter who it is. And just like I said on my last live, if you guys would go back and watch, it's on here. I can't find a way to save it in my phone. It's probably too long of a live for my space on my phone. But just like I said, God is the light. Look towards the light. That's what he says. Go towards the light, not the darkness. Go, go down the right path, not the wrong. loves us. He loves every, sing every single one of us. Not different. He loves us. And he always will. 
as long as we have him in our hearts. And I'm sorry for getting back on here and disturbing you guys going through um, going through sleep and things like that and having to deal with what you're dealing with and, you know, just not, not being able to function the way that, you know, you would think that you should and knowing that you, um, knowing that you have broken many things and know that you've broken many, many promises and knowing that you've broken several uh, people's hearts, knowing that you've broken, um, several things in life and I just wanted you to know God will fix that. As long as you turn towards Him, God will fix that. Let me fix my lighting situation and I will be right back. fix my lighting situation and try and do what I have to do but actually let me move you guys up here and just put the light back here but just like I said I just wanted to jump on here and let you guys know I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys that God loves you. God, he, he will work wonders in your life if you just, if you stick with it. If you, if you know who he is, if you want to become one of his people, just ask him right now. Ask him to come into your heart. And he shall do that. No matter no matter what you're going through, no matter what what you're fixing to be going through, it don't matter what it don't matter what what you have planned for the future, it don't matter what you have done in the past for the people that have passed, for the people that are going to be born in the future. See, God has a purpose for us. Nobody knows what their purpose is. Nobody knows what their purpose is. Nobody knows what they're going to... Nobody knows when their time is going to come. Nobody knows that God is there for them. If they're, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like nobody's there for you, if you're feeling like nobody cares about you, if you're feeling like everybody is just not wanting to be around you and this is going from my my perspective if nobody wants to be around you the only person that does is God God will always be there on your side no matter what and I know I'm on here late but I always have time to tell everybody about the word of God and just like I said if you don't have you don't have a Bible you don't have this God's word if you don't have this in your home in your car if you drive if you don't have it with you by your side if you need one I will personally go to the store and buy you one no matter what 
I don't care what it is. I don't care what time of day it is. I will go to the store and I will buy you a Bible and bring it to you personally. If you don't have one, if you need one, if you want one, and you want to know who God is, and you don't, if you don't know who He is, and you want to know who He is, if you want, if you, even if you know who He is, and you want to get to know Him better, feel free to just message me. Because I want to be that person, just like I said in my last live, I want to be that person that will, that everybody can just come to, and everybody can, um, and that everybody can just hang out with, and be, and I can be the person that everybody comes to, and that everybody, you know, everybody just wants to hang out with, and everybody wants to just, even though I may not be a popular person in school, and I'm not, I'll say that, I'm not going to be popular. I'm not one of the big guys that go off and they play be uh, football, basketball, baseball, um, the girls that play soccer, um, softball, and things like that. No, I'm not like that. Even though I don't have people there on my side, the only person that's here on my side is God. And he'll always be here on my side. Always. And I don't know how long this live is going to be, but I just wanted to jump on here and get you guys knowing the Lord. Even if you know him, I want you guys to know him better tonight. I want you guys to know him better. I want you guys to know who I truly am. And I want you guys to know that I love every single one of you the same no matter if it's a relationship, no matter if it's a friendship, I love every one of you. And for every one of you, I will take a I will take a bullet. If one is coming to hit you, call me and I'll be right there. I will dodge that bullet for you. I will take the bullet for you. I will take a bullet for anybody. No matter who it is. Even if it's not family, I don't care. I'll take the bullet. If you're going through things, if you're struggling in life, be able to come to me and just express yourself. Be able to come to me and we can get to know who the Lord is better. It don't matter if we're on the phone for hours. It don't matter if we're on the phone for 10 minutes, 30 seconds. It don't matter if you're on the phone for two days in a row. If anybody sees me out in public and they they want to know my backstory, they want to know my past, they want to know my future. The only person right now that knows my future is God. I don't know what my future is. You know, God has planned things for us that we do not know what he has planned. Right. What? Come here. Hang on. Let me do this first. Sorry, that was my sister. Um, but like I said, I, you guys, you guys are awesome. And I just want to say thank you for each and every one of you. Even if you're a bully that I had last year, even if you're, even if you're one of the devil's people, thank you. Thank you for coming into my life. Even if you're the ones that are talking about the negative about me and things like that, like I was talking about on my live before the one I just did. Don't worry about that live. I was not in a good mood with that. I'm frustrated. I'm depressed. Very. I'm going through things that a 18-year-old or almost an 18-year-old shouldn't even be going through. And 
people that want to know what I'm going through and people that understand what I'm going through. I don't want to know people's opinions about, you know, what what I'm going through and I don't want people to just go and talk the negative about what I'm going through. I want people to be able to understand what I'm going through. I don't like people that will come up to me and talk negative about me and not because the people that will come up to you and say you're worthless you're not worth my time you're you're just you're not worth anybody's time that's the negative people and God will be right there by your side 24-7. And when you die, you'll go see Him. If you have Him in your heart, you'll go to heaven. And if you don't know the Lord, take your time right now. I'll give you 30 seconds. Listen to the music and praise God. Ask Him into your heart. Do what you gotta do. Your time starts now. Okay, by now every one of you shall be uh, blessed by many things to come in your future. And many people shall come into your life and be able to walk you in the right path, be able to tell you what's going to happen in your future. Who knows tomorrow, if you're at school, if you're at work, it don't matter. If you're out in public and somebody walks up to you and they start talking to you about the Word of God, Sit there and listen to them. Have them pray for you. If you have lost a family member, and this goes for everybody, that is a burden that sticks with you forever. You know, for the people that have lost relatives, friends, family, um, people that they didn't even know that they cared for, God took them home. See, the people that have passed, they serve for their purpose. And they, you carry that burden with you forever. Through life. Just like my grandfather, he's going through dementia. I've been told and told and told by multiple people that I need to let go of that burden. It's hard to do that. Knowing that you, knowing that tomorrow you may not wake up and see the light of day that God has planned for you. God plans out your day, day by day, day to day basis. You don't know what's going to happen that day. You don't know what's what's in stock, what's in store, what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen in life. The only person that does is God. Because God is the only person that knows our future, that knows our past, and that knows what person we're going to become. It don't matter if we're going to become a right, a good person good person. It don't matter if we're going to become a bad person. It don't matter if we're even a bad person already. God will turn your life around. God will make your life for the better. For the better. God is above all kings. And his love endures forever. 
and by the grace of God, we will carry on. You guys, I'm going to sing a song. I don't, I'm not going to worry about the background music. I'm just going to sing words, you know, just get it out there. He listens to our praises. He listens to our prayer. He listens to everything that we have to say to him. He may not res he may not respond back at that time that you were sitting there and praying. And he may not, you know, he may not uh He may not sit there and talk to you. He may be busy. But God loves you. And God will be there with you through the whole step of life. Just know that. God will be there for you forever. God loves you. Your family loves you. Your relatives love you. Your friends love you. Don't go to school. Don't go to work. Don't go in public and think that people are going to think the worst of you. People look at you as just a person. They don't know what you're going through in life. As long as you don't tell them. Now, if you go to church and you need to be prayed for, but you don't, you don't take that time and be able to go up there to the front or wherever the praying, praying spot is. Even if you want to, you can just sit there in your chair. Or even if you get out of church and you just go home. Go by your bedside. Kneel to your bed. And pray. Talk to God. Talk to your Father. God listens to every word you say. He always will. Don't forget that. I know this is a late night live. And I'm sorry. But I just want you guys to be able to know who the Lord is. And get to know me. You know. I want to be the person that everybody comes up to like in school and stuff like that. I want to be the person that everybody will come up to and feel comfortable about coming and talking to me, you know. I want to I want to be that one person that even if I'm not popular, if I don't play sports, if I don't make mega money, if I don't even if nobody cares about me and nobody wants wants to even hang around me change your life because I want to be that one person throughout the year even this year I want people to be able to come up to me and feel comfortable to talk to me and say Bryce can we sit down and talk can we sit down and pray or just come up to me and strike a conversation. I'll sit there and talk with you. I'll do whatever. Lunch. After school. Before school even starts. Or if you want to, feel free to private message me. Because I'm here for you. I don't care if you guys don't don't care about me or just I don't care if you guys think I'm not such a good person. God thinks otherwise. And God don't like people that will think other of you. 
God wants us to come as a family and be right there together. It don't matter if you are family, it don't matter if you are relatives, it don't matter if you are um, other stuff like that. It just, it don't, it don't matter if you are, uh, if you're friends, it don't matter if it's somebody you don't even know. God wants us to be like this, not this, not apart. God wants us to be right here, together. Like I said, not out here, and not the opposite way. He don't want us just to cross. He wants us to walk in front of each other. It don't matter. And just come right here. Together. Not separate. Not separate. Instead of us being way out here, God wants us to be right here. God wants us to know one another. God wants to wants us to be able to go and feel comfortable about talking to one another. And God wants us to go and God wants to have his people just be able to come out any time and go and talk to other people of God and know that he is his, he is there no matter what and I will say this no matter what if you don't believe in the Bible if you don't believe in the word of God. He loves you. See, God, he has a purpose. We all have a purpose. It don't matter what it is. God loves us. We're God's people. We don't know what our purpose is. God is the only one that does. You guys, I'm going to cry. It's hard being able to jump on here and it's it's easy at the same time knowing that I can get on here and be able to talk to thousands of you guys. For the ones that are out there that don't believe that I can work in the ways that y'all think I should. If you guys don't think that I can go and just, you know, be there and be that one person that everybody can come to and be able to talk to and know that he, and know that um, they can actually come to me and say, look, I, Bryce, I messed up. Hey, I want people to be able to come to me and say, you know, Bryce, I messed up. Can we talk? I, I want to get to know the Lord better. Feel free to do that. Feel free to get to know the Lord. Get to know who God is. Just like my last five, if you didn't see it, 
make sure to go after I get off of here, which will be in a little while. I want to be able to talk to you guys. I love you guys. God loves you. Your parents love you. Family loves you. Everybody loves you. But I just wanted to jump on here and let every single one of you know you have a purpose. It don't matter what it is. Nobody knows what their purpose is. And I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going to happen in their life. Nobody knows what their what's going to happen tomorrow, you know. For the ones that have passed, for the ones that are going to pass, and for this generation, God has a purpose for us. Nobody knows what their purpose is. Nobody's going to know what their purpose is. Until we get home. Hang on. When we get, when we go home to heaven, that's our true home. We'll be there forever. We'll be able to go up there and see our loved ones and be able to talk to God right there face to face. And tell God thank you for letting letting us live on his creation for the time that we did. I love every single one of you guys, and I always will. But if you're at the high school next year, even this year, if you see me out in the public, feel free to just come up and talk to me. Be able to strike a conversation. Be able to, you know, interact with, interact with me and be able to talk and be able to get to know who God is right then and there. We can stand there in the middle of the store for hours and we can sit there and talk. We can pray. We can sing. Don't matter how good you sing. God loves to hear us sing. You know that? God loves it when we sing his praise. And I know this is late. I'm sorry. But this is three lives in one day. Two lives being Christian lives. And I'm going to I'm going to try and be there for it, for every single one of you guys and hopefully we can form a closer bond and for the ones that are out there y'all can come to me every day even if I'm at work feel free to message me come up to me and I will send you my phone number I will send you anything I will be able to send you any way of contact so that we can get in contact with me if I'm on my way to work if I'm on my way home from work if I'm on break at work You guys can contact me any time, any day. From 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Daily. 24-7. Seven days a week. 6.30 to 11 p.m. at night every day you guys can come on here you guys can sing you guys can join my live you guys can even join in talk about the Lord talk about what you're going through how's everybody doing um, be able to uh, 
just let off stress, be able to come to me and talk. It don't matter about what. Don't matter if it's about family. Don't matter if it's about things that you're trying to hide. I'll be that person that everybody can come to and that everybody can just come up to me and say, Bryce, let's talk. I screwed up. I need help. I'll, I'll take my time out of my day. Don't matter what I'm doing. I'll take my time out of my out of my day and just come to you guys and pray over anything. It don't matter. Cause I love you guys. God loves you guys. Your parents love you guys. Everybody loves you. You are worth something. It don't matter what it is. It don't matter when, if you get called home to God, He will be there every step of the way, even if you're still down here on God's creation. Just know that you have people behind you, and you are leading their path. You have to guide them down the right path. The ones that are following behind you is the ones that want to get to know God. That's the ones that you have to guide in the right place. Because if you make the wrong turn, they make the wrong turn. Go towards the light and not the darkness. If you follow the light, you'll go home. If you follow the darkness you'll take the long way and go through harder things in life. If you're hurt, if you're, if you've been hurt bad, if you, if you're just going through a lot of pain in life and you don't have anybody to talk to, feel free to just Come to me and say, Bryce, I I want to get to know who God is. I want to know, I want to get to know you better. I want to get to um, know who he is a lot better than what I do. Feel free to come to me. Feel free to message me. Feel free to come up and talk to me. It don't matter what time of day it is. Like I said, 6.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. Feel free to call me. Feel free to message me. It don't matter. Because God has a purpose for us. And God will not tell you what your purpose is. He is the only person that will know. You will know your purpose when you are walking up heaven's stairway. And like I said earlier, go towards the light and not the darkness. That's my motto. Daily. If you follow the light, you'll go closer to heaven. If you follow the darkness, you'll take the long way around and you'll go through worse things than what you're going through. The devil is trying to hold you back from getting to home plate. God is always there for you. He will always be there for you. But we don't know what to say. Um, I love every single one of you guys. And I'll keep saying that. But I don't want to be the person anymore that everybody's going and talking about that everybody's going and spreading rumors and everybody is going and not wanting to communicate with me and not wanting to get to hang around me and me being the person that I am now I have changed ever since last year 
I've been changed. When I walked into God's heart, when I walked into God's room, let's see, God, He has a room. It's an imaginary room. He fills His people with. We may not see the room. We, we don't know what the room looks like. We just see the world. But God has a room. All of His people are in that room. There's a door to that room. I changed when I walked in that door and met God. I'll tell you guys the story later, but I might as well go ahead and tell you now. Uh, back in uh, it was years ago, we were living in Foley, and I was in my room. See, I didn't even know God at this time. Uh, we we um, we were living in this house that used to be owned by Flowerwood Nursery. And our house was haunted by an older man that didn't even know the Lord. He tried hurting me. Not physically, but mentally. He was messing with my mind. And I still have to deal with this. I still bring up the story to this day. But I was in my room one night and I had my dog with me. It was a wire, a uh, Boston Hair Terrier. He was a pretty dog. He was mean though. I guess he didn't even know God. <laughs> um, but I loved him so much. His name was Buster. Uh, I saved him from almost being hit by a car. He was a stray. And I took him in. He was a loving dog. He was. He was almost hit by a car right there in front of me. I brought him in. I said, Mom, let's save him. He's the one. And we took him down there because we had a church attached to our house. Our house was like an L shape. It looked like this. Or like this. Like this. That's how it was. This was the house part. This was the church. When we brought him to the church, you could see the demon that was in that dog just walk out. The demon couldn't handle the Holy Ghost. So he walked out. And the dog, he just became as sweet as what he could. He wasn't no more of this. Anytime you touched him, he would growl. Or anytime you would mess with him, he would just bite you. No, he wasn't like that. But let me get back to the story. Um, we were living there in Foley, and one night I, uh, I was in my room. Like I said, I had Buster with me. We, uh, I went to bed that night. I didn't know God at this time. Just remember that. God has... God works in mysterious ways. Nobody knows. But as I went to bed that night, I started feeling this heavy, heavy presence. Demonic. I couldn't even breathe that night. So I got up. I turned over. I left my closet doors open. I don't know why. And I looked into my closet. And there he was just standing there. The old man had a gun. Just standing there. He was looking at me. Standing there. Pointed at me. And I 
and stuff like that. But hang on, I'll be out in a minute. But um, it was that next day. We uh, we had family or we had friends over. We walked down into the church. We stood there and we prayed. The demon didn't know what to do, so he just said bye. And he was no longer there. And from that point on, that's when I asked God into my heart. And not knowing what the Lord had in store for me, and not knowing what God had in store for that man, but that man didn't believe in God. So, from the, that point on, that's my story. That's when I became the person that I am. And that's when, you know, that is when God finally moved into my heart and saved me from many hurtful things that I could have done to myself. Many, many times that I could have, you know, jumped into something that I shouldn't have. And from the ones that were going to the high school, you probably could have told. I, I didn't look like I was such a nice person. I was that person that nobody wanted to be around. I was that person that nobody wanted to even come up to and say, hey, just to say it. I was that person that nobody, that everybody tried to avoid. Everybody would just look at me weird. Not knowing what I've been through. Not knowing what what my past life was like. And guys, I hate to say it. I'm not that person anymore. I'm not. Guys that are there and guys, even if you're not at the high school and you know me personally, just anytime you want to, feel free to come up to me and say, Bryce, I messed up. Can we pray? Can we talk? If you're in Walmart, walk with me. Even if my family's there, just walk with me. And we'll go walk off by ourselves. We'll go find a part of the store that nobody's there. And we'll sit there and pray. It don't matter. Wherever you want to go. If you want to meet me somewhere out in public and sit in a parking lot and just sit there and pray, we can. But that's up to you. On days that you're having a hard day, just call me. Message me. Message me on here. Or if you're friends with me on Facebook or Snapchat. Any social media. Any way just to get in contact with me. I am here for you guys. I love every single one of you. And just know that people may think that you're a person that shouldn't even be here on earth. You're a person that shouldn't be, that's not the person that everybody thought that they would be. Everybody thinks that you're worthless. Everybody thinks that you're not a good person because of your past. Your past doesn't matter. Your future is what does. The past is the past. Look into the future and see how good of a person you would be. The person that you are now may walk away and you walk into a new life later. But 
it's getting late. I'm going to jump back on here here later. And we're not going to do Christian stuff. I uh, just want to jump on here and just talk to you guys. Even if some of you are still awake or not, watch the replay. Message me then. Find me anywhere on social media. Comment on my YouTube videos. You guys know I have a YouTube channel. I have three or four of them. Find a way to get in contact with me. Put your contact info in the in the um, comments, or put your phone number in the in my private messages. Even if I don't get to you now, I will I will find a time in my day or a week or a year just to sit down and talk with you guys for hours, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Even if it's just to say one word, feel free to message me. Feel free to just talk. Even if it's negative, if you just want to vent, if you want to vent yourself, come to me. I'll be that person. Everybody can come to me. You know, let's let's get a group started. You know, go around the high school telling the people that are not such good people. Tell them about God. Let's start a group. Not a church group. Not a friends group. Just start a group. During lunch, we'll meet in one place. It don't matter where. Your guys' decision. Or if you just want to meet out in public, come to one place. Go to the very far, far end of Walmart's parking lot. Or Dollar General's parking lot. Or uh, a gas station. Meet there. And just talk about God. But if there ever is a time that somebody just wants to sit there and talk... Know that you can come to me. I'll be that person that everybody can come to. And I'm not saying this just to say it. I'm not going back out of what I'm saying. I'm giving you my word. I'm giving you the words that God has given me to say. God wants me to be this person. But I love every single one of you guys. I'm not going to hold you for too much longer. I don't trying not to take up your time but I do want to take your time and get you to understand what God has in store for us which nobody knows I don't even know what God has in store for me all I know is it's just going to be wonderful it's going to be good the Lord will bless us with wonderful things in life if you just follow his footsteps but just listen to the song listen to the listen to the instruments in this song I'm just going to give you a minute or so even if there's nobody on here it's just me if you're watching the replay I'm going to give you a little bit of time and just sit here in silence or if you want to just sit here and pray or whatever do what you gotta do I'll give you a minute and a half I'll take however long you need don't matter to me whenever you guys are ready just let me know
everybody that's that was on my live and for everybody that's not Lord that you will come into their life and show them what you have in store for them and show them the path that they that they should be on and one that they shouldn't Lord, get them to walk into the light and not the darkness. Lord, get them to follow your footsteps. And Lord, hope this video goes out there for you. I love you, Lord. Lord, everybody loves you. And just, just know that that was on here or they want to know know you better and get to be closer in a relationship with you father Lord everybody loves you Lord we want to know what our purpose is and we may not know that till the day we come and meet you in heaven Lord guide us in the right path. Lord, guide us the way that we want to be guided, not the way we don't. Lord, we love you. We thank you and we will praise you every day. Lord, we will just we'll worship you and we'll thank you for everything. Lord, I love you. Everybody loves you. In your name we pray. Everybody said amen. Well, you guys, I'm going to um, get off of here. I've been on here for almost an hour, uh, longer than what Mother Live was. So I'm going to jump off of here, and I will be back on here sometime tomorrow. It don't matter when, but I know school is out tomorrow, or, yeah, tomorrow. Um, but... I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that came on my live, just to watch. I love each and every one of you, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. And like I said, if you need me, I'm here. If anybody just wants to come and pray, if anybody wants to come and just talk to me and get to know who the Lord is and know what he has in store for us and get to know what and just sit there and talk to me about what's going on in your life about what's what's going on in what happened in your past life or what what's going to happen in your future the only person that knows what's going to happen in your future is God God is in control of your life as long as you follow him. And like I said earlier, you can watch the replay. Walk into the light, not the darkness. But, like I said, if you don't have a Bible, if you don't have a Bible, I will personally go to the store and get you one. Pray over it and bring it to you. Don't matter if I'm coming to your home. Don't matter if I'm coming anywhere. Meet me in public or anything. I will bring you a Bible. Somehow, somewhere, sometime. This is God's word. And this is what's going to lead you in the way that you should. God has a purpose for all of us, as you may know. God wants us to follow his footsteps and not the devil's. See, nobody knows their purpose. Nope. Everybody is on this earth for a purpose. And I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know what their purpose is. But we're not going to know that until we get to heaven. We're not... We won't know what our purpose is until we get to heaven. Until we are walking up that staircase to heaven. 
God would tell us then what our purpose was. And like I said, we are put on this earth for a reason. For a reason that God could not follow. Which he is following us step by step now. See, God died and then three days later, he arose again from the dead. He died for our sins. And he carried the cross for us. He shed his blood for us to live here today. But I just wanted to get on here and say, I love every single one of you. Feel free to message me. Feel free to call me. I'll, wait. I'll give you guys my phone number. Feel free to call me. And we'll sit there and pray. Feel free to come find me out in public. Or at school. Or in the stores. Or just anywhere. If you see me anywhere, feel free to come up to me. And just strike a conversation. And I will tell you what God is going to do in your life. I love every single one of you. And I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day, wonderful day, night, weekend, even tomorrow. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Stay tuned. God loves you. Peace out.